What's going on, Ninjas? How's it going? I'm glad to be back on YouTube and filming. My camera SD card was acting up, so it took me a little bit to figure that out. It told me, but anyway, I'm gonna get right into the point of this video, guys, because today I have a special video for you guys to watch, and it's gonna take up most of the time, so. I have a story to tell that's related to this, but, um, please watch this, guys, and shoutouts will be at the end, one, I believe, but guys, stay tuned to the end, because there's a special shoutout today, here we go, if you guys have not watched Spencer's Lawn Care, Spencer's, Spencer's Lawn Care is an awesome YouTube channel, you should guys go check them out. I'll leave his link in the description at some point when I edit this, or if I even feel like putting it in there. But shout out to Spencer as well. So here we go. So basically, it's all about safety, guys. Currently, three, three forty-four, as you can see. I don't know. I think we're on like number twelve or thirteen for the day. But long story short, about nine thirty this morning, we were on a real small lawn, and this customer I've had issues with before with their children. And basically, it, it wouldn't be a big deal, but they're just not listening. And to me, it seems like the father's just not taking what we're doing serious or understanding the situation is not safe. So what happened is we started mowing. I mowed the front yard. I go to go into the backyard, and boom, here's this little girl just coming around the house right towards my mower. I mean, full speed running. Scared the crap out of me, for one, because if it would have been about a half a second later, you know, I could have possibly ran her over. I mean, it was right on the corner of a house. She just comes out of nowhere, boom, right in front of the mower. Very scary. So long story short, I stop. She runs around the house. No big deal. Well, the issue that I have now is this little girl likes to sit there and watch us work, okay? And it's not safe, guys. I understand she's just curious. She just wants to see the action going on. For sure. I do not allow kids to be anywhere near, or parents for that instance, to be anywhere near whenever I'm mowing. So what happened is, I went back there, she runs around the house and comes right back, okay? And it's just basically standing in the middle of the yard. I shut the mower off, I take the mower up front, TP's like, what are you doing? I'm like, put the, put the trimmer on the trailer. Sorry guys, I'm getting a little upset. But, uh, you know, I tell her to put the trimmer on the trailer, and I put the mower up, and I leave half the yard mode, okay? This little girl before we told her, you know, hey, you need to go in the house, or can you go in the house until we're done, then you come back out, yada, yada, yada. You can watch from a window, whatever. I don't even like them being near the window. But she has blatantly told us, my parents told me I can watch you. I can be out here. She doesn't listen. That's the thing. But she doesn't realize if anything comes out of this mower or off the trimmer, she can lose an eye or her life. That is true. Her eye or her life. Guys, this is why we wear pants, neon, neon, anything. So people can see us so we can move out of the way for us and just for their safety as well. Anything, I'll explain more later, but anything to show up and more, guys. So long story short, we pack up, we leave. Her dad just called me flipping out like 20 minutes ago, no joke. I'm in the middle of this lawn. He calls me, what the heck, you left my lawn halfway mowed, blah, 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 what's going on? Yada, yada, yada. I'm like, listen, I've told you before, your kids cannot be out there. I've asked her before to go in the house. She won't do it. She doesn't listen. I'm not going to be able to mow your lawn when there's kids out there. You're coming back right now and you're going to finish the rest of my yard, yada, yada, yada. I'm like, listen, I can't get back there today. I'm in a whole different side of town now. It's game over for today, bud. Oh, you better get back here today. I need my freaking lawnmower, blah, blah, blah. I said, listen, I can get out there tomorrow. I said, but I'm not coming back there today. I said, and from now on, if your daughter comes out, I said, I'm doing the exact same thing and I'm charging you the exact same bill. He goes, well, I'm not going to pay full price for a half mow yard. I said, well, listen, I come to your house. I drive all the way there. Sorry, guys, what's the ad? Great, just great. Stranded. We don't have State Farm anymore. Yes, we can. We don't. I provide a service, okay? I said, now, if you don't live up to your end of the bargain and do my rules, basically, keep your kid in the house, 
I'm going to charge you full price. He goes, oh, I dare you to charge me full price. We'll be in court, blah, 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 blah. I said, you know what? I'm not going to say his name. I almost slipped up. I said, listen, this is not going to work. I said, you need to understand this is not safe for your child. And I feel kind of bad because I feel like I'm taking, you know, more of a precaution for your child when you should be the one that is super concerned about your child's safety and their concern. I said, these blades are mowing so fast. I said, I almost ran your daughter over with the mower. I, I, I said, if I would have been somebody else that's not paying attention, going really fast, it could have ended really bad. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I said, listen, it's over with. I said, find somebody else. We're not doing it no more. TQ degrees. You know, it's just not worth the headache or the safety. It's just dumb. I mean, she just won't listen. Right, and it could come back on us, you know, if she does get hurt, then what's the parent going to do? Exactly. It just, gonna try to do it. It, just, it just pees me off, guys. You know, kids, kids don't know. This little girl does not know. But if her mom and dad aren't enforcing the rule, like, hey, when the mowing guy is here, when they're working, keep your butt in the freaking house. If her parents aren't willing to do that for her, this girl's maybe six, seven years old. She doesn't know. She has a child's mind. So there it falls on the parent. The parent needs to be the parent, and this parent isn't being the parent. He's just like, oh, it's no big deal. She just wants to watch you mow and trim. She just wants to watch you guys work. She's curious. I understand that. Have her do it from a safe spot in the house. It just beats me off, guys. And really, it made me very upset that he just like, oh, it's no big deal. Ridiculous. All right, monsters. That's the thing. I'm gonna see the target. I'm gonna see what how dark it is. Cause I don't want to see what that dark it is. Oh boy, that is dark. <laughs> All right. So guys, that is the safety concern, guys. <laughs> Mower blades are dangerous. All right, I'm gonna probably put this one. Guys, mower blades are dangerous. You don't want to get near mower blades. Trust me. I've but I felt a trimmer line cut me while it was on full power. It does not feel good. It would feel ten times as worse if it was a mower. But probably end up in the ER or an ambulance. Anything can shoot off a mower, even if you don't see it, like an overgrown yard. I almost today I almost ran over a I didn't film it. I didn't film today, but I almost ran over a beer bottle and it was glass and that could've really really messed up the bottom of my mower and I just got it fixed so you gotta be careful what you're looking for and I might even go find it right now and uh, take a picture of it and uh, put it on Instagram because it makes me concerned I'm gonna go find it after the video while this is uploading but check out my Instagram if you guys have not seen that already but guys, it's really safety concerned. I don't. Whenever I see people walking on the sidewalks, and my, I leave my side chute open. I leave it open so the grass doesn't clog up because I don't have a side chute cover. It'll close, but then it clogs up. So I leave it open, and it shoots far. At least a foot and a half, depending on how much grass there is. But I gotta cut my yard later today too. But guys. I might film my yard. I'll film. Mm, should I film my yard? I'll probably film my yard for my own guys, for you guys. But, guys, it. It's it's crazy. I'm all, I'll film the front for you guys and I'll mow the back by myself. But, guys, safety is important. Safety is concerned. Whenever I see people walking on the sidewalks, I see, no matter how close I am to the sidewalk, Maybe five feet away, ten feet away, I stop. It does not matter the position of your mower. It does not matter what angle your mower is at. It, the blades are, I don't have a mower where the blades can shut off. If I had a mower where the blades could shut off and the engine stays on, I would do that. But I wait until they're past. That was a good five feet. And they could hit them from behind too. See you first, guys, and I'm not sure how long this camera's gonna film for, so I don't want to cut out on me. But that was your video for today. Him talking to you guys. Stay away from our boys. Listen to the title, guys.
and stay tuned for my yard. You guys will be able to see that video sometime this week or weekend. Um, cause I'm not, I'm not filming this weekend. Maybe with Eric, but I'm not sure. Anyway, guys, today's special shout out goes to Eric Martinek. Go follow, go look at his Instagram. Go follow him on YouTube. He is going to be moving to Nashville starting next week, I believe. So make sure you guys go follow him on his Instagram as well. Give him some support. Go watch him. Uh, I'm not sure where he's playing yet, but he's doing one last gig before his big move to Nashville. I will be there, hopefully, and I'm sure he will be. He'll be there. Um, but guys, go watch. It's going to be awesome. If I can film it, I will, but uh, I'm not planning on it. But guys, I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Peace out, ninjas.